Hello and welcome again to another reading from the book, The Faith I Live By, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled, Blessings on the Humble Man, May 12th. And Jesus called a little child unto him, and set him in the midst of them, and said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Matthew 18 verses 2 and 3 The helpless sinner must cling to Christ as his only hope. If he lets go his hold for a moment, he imperils his own soul and the souls of others. Only in the exercise of living faith are we safe. But the commission of any known sin, the neglect of known duties at home or abroad, will destroy faith and disconnect the soul from God. Nothing is more offensive to God than a self-sufficient spirit. In the life of Peter is a sad lesson which should be a warning to all the professed followers of Christ. The Savior had faithfully warned him of the approaching danger, but, self-confident and presumptuous, he asserted his constant fidelity and zeal and declared himself willing to follow his master to prison and to death. The test came for Peter when the storm burst upon the disciples by the humiliation of their leader. Mournful are the words traced by the pen of inspiration. Then all the disciples forsook him and fled. Matthew twenty six fifty six. And the ardent, zealous, self-confident Peter repeatedly denied his Lord. He afterward bitterly repented, but this example should admonish all to beware of self-confidence and self-righteousness. The men who humble themselves even as a little child are the men who will be taught by God. The Lord is not dependent on any man's talents, for he is the source of all perfect gifts. The very humblest man, if he loves and fears God, is the possessor of heavenly gifts. The Lord can use such a man because he does not strive to work himself according to his own standard. He works with fear and trembling, lest he will spoil the pattern. His life is an expression of the life of Christ. We must constantly cherish meekness and humility if we would possess the Spirit of Christ. Thank you for listening today. I trust that you have received the message God had in store for you. God's peace be upon you. Maranatha.